Guys, they said some of these uh, only of your first wives, uh, they have touched the tail of a tiger. You know that uh, when a tiger is sleeping, don't just say uh, he is sleeping, he cannot do anything. Touch his tail and you will see the other. You will see why he is called a, a lion, a be a tiger, anyone. So, I, information reaching us right now is that uh, Blow Blow, Igbi, and the Olori Two Face, they are in a serious mess this time because you know that Poropo is an elderly man who likes peace. Yes, he's a peaceful man. He always encouraged these Oloris to be peaceful and not giving his son headache every now and then but only recently we started hearing one story or the other about uh, Inkumbu's attack on Paropo. First they said it was a uh, Olori Two-Face that he saw and they said that is not the first time but he was able to figure out her face that is why he decided to call her out and they said after that one, uh, all of the two faces have been denying it, saying that uh, it's not true, she's not the one, it is it me, it is blow blow. The three of them, you know, if you catch this one, this one will say it's this one. If you catch this one, this one will say it's this one. And they said after that, uh, Paropo warned KBS to tell them in the language that they will understand. That I can mess up with KBSC and go scot free. But the moment they want to bring it to his side, he is going to show them that he is a, 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 a master in that field. But because there is no gain in evil, that he doesn't indulge in evil. And this is exactly the same thing that we are doing to Dr. Elizabeth. When Dr. Elizabeth enters the palace and decided not to support them, then everybody was th uh, thinking that uh, Olori Two-Face is a good woman, that she is uh, with KBAC and Dr. Elizabeth. But whereas she was dealing with Dr. Elizabeth and blowing her, she was just biting her and blowing her, you know? <laughs> so, the same Paropo gave KBAC serious warning to give to these women. They should be very careful. They shouldn't try nonsense with him. And maybe the case repeated itself. I don't know. And they said the man went on, on inquiry. You know that an elder will always be an elder. There are certain things that KBC did not know. But, uh, but Paropo knew them very well. But sometimes he will decide to keep quiet. Not because he doesn't know what to say or what to do. But because he's an elder. And... Sometimes it is not good for elders to talk too much. They say actions speak louder than voice. So most of the things that are happening, they said Paropo has been going on inquiries to know why certain things are happening. And only recently they said he went on his inquiry based on Quinomi's case with uh, Oni of Ife. And find out that the fourth wife of Kabiesi, who happens to be uh, Olori Kalabash, have been doing incantation with their pictures every now and then. But the fact remains that God of Phenomi is always winning them in this battle. Because irrespective of all that she is doing with their pictures and all of that, they are still together. Yes, only recently we heard that Phenomi storms the palace to come and surprise Kabiesi with uh, some gifts of this uh, royal regalia and some beads. If they are not in good condition, if they are not in a very good uh, place right now, I don't think she would have done that if this information is true. I don't think she would have go to the palace unannounced, surprised Kabias, and they say Kabias was very, very happy. You know, that is why I want to say that whatever that uh, Olori Kalabash is doing against them is not yielding any fruit. But that is one of the inquiries. That is one of the outcome of Barupo's inquiries. And when this uh, Inkumbu's attack on him continued again, over and over again, they said, after warning Kabiesi to warn the wives that he's not their uh, mate in certain uh, uh, area of life, they should mind their business, and they attacked him again. They said he set out on a journey. 
And at the end of the day, he found out that they were doing it uh, uh, one after the other. As a matter of fact, they are in group. They ganged up for the same reason, that they are going to oppress him. They are going to suppress him. They are going to subdue him with that. This person will go. Another person will go next time. Another person will go next time. And I said, now, nah, wow. Now, nah, wow. Hey, hey. My people, oh, they say when Paropo came, ba came back, he called few elders and let them know what is going on. And they said, when the elders hears about it, they were marveled. They were shocked that how could women, women, the way they bend down the urinate, wants to challenge their gods, wants to challenge their elders, because it's a challenge. They want to show Paropo, say, you don't belong anywhere. But they don't know who belongs where and who does not belong, or who is this or who is that, you know? They think they are the only ones that belongs to all this uh, small, small, witchy, witchy group and all of that. So that was how they said Quenomi, uh, not Quenomi, Paropo, uh, met with some of these elders and they br brought out cola nut and the uh, uh, hot all this hot drink and start and they say paropo started laying course on them three of them they said he was mentioning their name when he, when he mentioned that person's name he would declare what, what will happen to them and according to the information they said paropo made it clear that they are never going to have peace in that house that they are going to leave the palace the same way they entered the palace. That it is never going to be well with them. That anything they plan against Krenomi will return back to them. That they are never going to bring his son down. That they are going to use the ground to make uh, to, to be their house. And they said angrily, Paropo said a whole lot of things. And after which they said they break their collar knots and throw it to the gods on the ground, and pour their drinks on the ground. Don't forget that these are the things they believe in. And they said, whatever you believe in, and worship it in truth and in honest, it is going to be working for you. And Quenomi believe in God Almighty, and it is working for her. Kabiesi believe in their deities, and it is working for him. And these women, I don't know where they belong. Some of them are confusing themselves, saying that they are... Uh, gospel and everything yet they are babalawo uh, uh, but uh, <laughs> they patronize babalawos and mamalawos every now and then and with this you can say that they are bats they don't belong to anywhere so that was what they said paropo did and the elders echoed in unison that it is going to be so my people they said this three now they are now in a very hot soup Although the effect might not start now, but when it will start, they might find it difficult to know what hits them. That's what we are hearing right now. Allegedly, always remember that these are all alleged information. Okay, thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share my video. Bye. I love you guys.